What's going on, everybody? It's Achilles OBT coming at you with a brand new video. And in today's video, we will be we will finally be showcasing the newest hero added to Heroes of the Storm in Gul'dan. Um, I will be giving my early impressions of this character because I'm already actually pretty fond of him. And uh, I was playing Hero League last night, and I was quite shocked that he wasn't uh, more of a a hot pick so far, considering that he's a uh, this is like the first iteration we're getting of him before they make whatever changes they're going to make to him. Like, everybody gets changes made to him. Nobody is like the exact version of themselves when they first came out. So, but the the the, um, the preface I'm going to put to this video right now, before I go into the gameplay, is that I'm actually not 100% uh, sold on any one build because he has so many good options. But... For the sake of this video, we're going to go with more of a corruption-based build because that seemed to be the one that I was putting out the most uh, damage with, if you will. So, without further ado, let's get into the game. Alright, we find ourselves on the Garden of Terror. First time showcasing Gul'dan. Early impressions of this guy. He is a shit ton of fun to use and i i feel like that is absolutely something that i need to lead off this video with because that i feel i think um fun factor is one of those things that's really important in a character in a hero like really in any kind of game like this that you're playing you need to feel like you're having fun when you're using the the character you're playing as and Gul'dan definitely covers that uh that sentiment in spades so at level 1, like I said, we're going to be going for more of a corruption-based build. At level 1, we're going to be going for Echoed Corruption. When you hit 30 heroes with corruption, you increase its strikes. So in basically, so basically after 30 after 30 hits, uh, instead of only landing 3 hits, it, 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 could, it has potential to land 6. Now, again, it's worth mentioning that I actually do favor a more of a Q-orientated build. But, um... Like I said, I got a lot more of an output running with uh with this kind of build instead oh man i hope she doesn't die do that that'll land a few hits this is good too because i like that we have a morales on this team because this is something that i noticed the first time i used gold oh gold that's uh out chen chen if you will <laughs> I love that that is so good, like even in the early game, it, it, it is so good. I hope you're ready. And for those people new to Gul'dan, his, his uh, trait, when you press the D key, um, basically he sacrifices his own health to get mana back. So in essence, Gul'dan by the late game, or like the mid to late game, he has a, he has a means to where he doesn't necessarily have to recall back to base ever because he has a way to get back mana and health completely on his own and it makes him very 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 strong now if i was a good uploader oh my god no ah! no nope. nope. okay i'm actually gonna recall now if i was a good uploader i would have went over the team composition so since i'm recalling i'm gonna do that now the friendly composition will be a zero tool myself as gul'dan we, we have a Tyrael, a morales and a tracer going against an etc chen vala nova and a, and a lili so yeah. <laughs> the Nova's really the only one that we're going to have to sort of worry about just because we can't see her coming. But other than that, we should be fine. I'm going to do this. We seem to be landing a very, very, very good amount with that. Oh, God. No, 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 no. This is not where I parked my car. The upside to the corruption build is is so high it, it's it's shocking like i feel like um in a lot of ways the q build seems like uh seems like one that could have very very good merit but like i said when i tried the corruption build instead it actually did a lot more now at level four i'm going to be going for improved life tap because i don't want to have to recall like i don't want to have to um use my trait like crazy to get back mana, I'd rather get back a large portion of it in like one or two tries. Just a personal preference, if anything. So, let's do this. No doubt we stacked on a pile of hits. And we're gonna die. So, we're having a little bit of trouble with our, um, <laughs> with our Morales being a bot all of a sudden. 
There is a Anything, yeah, he's just being a ward for us right now. There's really not, there really isn't much he can do right there. The enemy team will get a first night plant, which is never good, but it's not the end of the world. I'm going to stay with my teammates here just in case, just in case. Now, one thing I will say uh, as an early uh, Gul'dan user is that I, the thing you just saw me do right there, I don't use his life drain anywhere near as much as I should. And it's a problem that I'm trying to work on. But, um, yeah, it does a lot of work when you actually choose to abuse people with it. I don't know how good specking into it is necessarily, but um, it remains to be seen. I don't even know if I would want to try it because I actually really, really like the two builds that I've experimented with. So it's like I, feel, I already feel comfortable with them. We're going to try and rotate to the bottom lane because there's a big push going on down there right now. Their tool does successfully make them make them move backwards right there. It's very good on his part. I actually don't. One thing, one smile, one one rare, very very minor complaint I might have about Gul'dan so far is that he doesn't appear to have like any kind of tracker uh, interface on his uh, on his screen, if you will. And I find that a bit to, to be a bit annoying. Like you have to hover over the ability to see exactly how much credit you have going towards it. And again, like na where the game is now, where they've added so many trackers to the UI, I think it's a little weird that they uh, they would forget to add one for Gul'dan. I'm going to do this. I'm very, very low on health right now. I actually cannot stop this. I need help. So at level 7, we're going to be going for Bound by Shadow. Whenever the Fell Flame hits a hero, it reduces the cooldown on my Corruption. So, if you look at the icons on this build, you're going to assume that I kind of went off the rails a little bit and uh, decided to spec into my Q instead of my uh, Corruption, but that's actually not the case at all. Can you hit him one more time? Thank you. Man, our, our leveling is so bad right now. Chen did actually stay there and absorb that, which is good. I don't think it was enough to kill him, though. Oh, God. I was about to say, I'm about to be dead as fuck. I was about to say, yeah, he is, like, actually just standing right there, not healing. No, it's not a bot anymore, bro. It's a player. Alright, now that we're paying attention to the minimap, I'm going to try and make my way over to the top lane and help out our arterial. Who did a very good job, actually, of getting ETC to back off. And now ETC done fucked up. He done goofed. And we're going to just try and drain as much as we can from him. And we will tack on two more hits, but it won't be enough to take him out. Did I mention how much fun Gul'dan is to use? Let's see how we're doing. All right, we're doing, we're doing okay on damage. We're doing all right. We're doing very good, very good on Siege, I'll say that much. But a lot of that has to do with the fact that his Q ability has a 1.5 second cooldown. Which I really, really, really like that that seems to be the new sexy for, for Heroes of the Storm. They've, had, they have, they've added so many heroes here lately that have some kind of damage dealing ability that with a very, very, very low cooldown. Oh man, we got lucky there. I really hope that I was actually able to tack on hits on all three of those mini chens. Because that would go a long way towards getting my... Uh, my talent quest done. It's gonna, we're going to do this. Again, Gul'dan has so many ways to get his health back. It's ridiculous. Or just his, his overall resources. Now, you notice every time Morales is on me, I can just spam my life tap. Because she's actively healing me at all times. So, essentially, she, she becomes like going back to the base. And that's something, if, if anybody watching this video plays Hero League, that's something that you want to be cognizant of. As far as, like, bans go, you definitely, definitely don't want to let a Morales be on the same team as a Gul'dan. We are going to go for Horrify because I, I think the crowd control element of this Heroic makes it the clear-cut choice. We're going to do this. Bring it right back. Oh, God. 
Oh, I thought he was going for it. How many stacks do I have right now? Uh, we need 11 more. And again, remember, with my Q upgrade, every time I landed on the hero, I'm bumping off a full second of the cooldown on, um, on Corruption. So now, because of that, we're able to throw that out there early. Good engaged material. I am going to life tap to get some of my mana back. I'm going to life tap to get even more back. And then I'm going to do this. And that's an unspecced uh, life drain ability, by the way. And it was able to completely mitigate that damage. I was say, maybe you don't want to heal the guy that's recalling. Maybe. We're going to life tap him again. That'll get him to run away. Nova apparently got taken out. We're going to life tap this guy as well. Or I say life tap. That's actually the, the name of his trait. I should say life drain. I'm actually, you know what? I could actually see some form of an, up, an upside to specking into his uh, life drain ability. If it's this good, when you don't spec into it, I can only imagine how much better it is if you do spec into it. And some of the upgrades they have for that ability are really, really, really handy. Let's do that. We're going to interrupt it. It almost feels a little Leoric-like in, in, in the sense that he could just drain this guy completely out of a fight. He's going to step all over that. I do think we should have stayed on the Chen, but definitely not so bad uh, going after this Nova. And again, we're just going to drain him away. And Tracer's going to be right there. Oh, I did miss. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look how much we're negating what he's doing. Granted, we're still going to die. <laughs> what else could you, possibly be doing? you know what's funny about that? If we would have committed to taking out the Chen, we would have secured the kill. But because we didn't commit, it looks like we were chasing for no reason and the guy is bitching about it. A lot of people, I feel like a lot of people make that mistake where they don't realize if you simply commit to taking a target down, it doesn't matter who they are. There is no hero in the game that can just stand still and take a barrage of damage from multiple targets. It's not possible. If that was the case, that hero would be picked in every single game. And people just do not seem to realize that. They have it so, like, tattooed in their brains, don't focus the tank, don't focus the tank, don't focus the tank, that essentially there's elements of the game that they're missing out on by doing that. And of course, people are going to disagree with me on that because, again, that's that's what they're they're programmed to think. Again, the crowd control element on this ability is so good. I'm going to double life tap there simply because we had the Morales on us. We are going to life drain ETC here. Thankfully, Zeratul does have a void prison on his teammates. <laughs> I love the fucking dance moves on cool Day. There we go. If Zeratul, I was about to say, if he would just focus him down, he could get that kill. He could hide right here. We're going to life drain him. And Lili's going to get the full, full effect of that ability right there. Teamwork is starting to pour in now. I didn't even mention at level 13, I picked, uh, I believe it's called Health Stone. Every time I hit, the, I activate the ability, I get a good portion of my health back. So it gives me my own means to negate damage just like that. Good timing getting hit by that, ironically. The other thing I will mention about Horrify is that the cooldown on that ability is very, very, very good. So I'm just going to keep annoying these guys because I can. And again, I just want to remind you that every time I land my Q ability, it's reducing the cooldown on my corruption. What a joyous 
And Corruption does have a pretty hardcore cooldown, but that's because it's, it's very, very good. So it kind of has to. It wouldn't be fair if it didn't. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Yep, yep, we walked right into that one. Bad play, bad, bad play on my part. <laughs> Dude. Need to relax a little, buddy. All right, level 16. What do I want? What do I want? I'm going to go for the damage update. Uh. <laughs> All right, let's go to the top lane now. How are we doing on damage? Okay, so we're doing we're doing pretty good. We're, we're doing pretty good. And I don't think it's uh super great, but uh, it's pretty good. Having a lot of frame droppage right there. I do apologize for that. Ooh, still target. Let's do that and then do this. Oh, it's a shame that I didn't get Lili right there. Noticing that, uh, that Gul'dan's, uh, fear ability, if you will, definitely, definitely does the job. It's basically like a glorified stun. I'm going to use Health Stone right there. And we're going to back away. Hey, we have a plant. Fuck that. I'm, oh, well, I could wait for Zeratul. Actually, we could wait for all of these guys to come. No, 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 we're not going to do that. Because if I if I wait, this plan is going to push down our forts. And, like, that's really, really not what we want. So we're going to, again, with my kind of style of using the plant, you absolutely have to ignore what your teammates are saying. Because they don't think they don't think that the, uh, the right approach ever to using this thing is uh, doing any kind of any kind of help uh, for your teammates? They think you should just run away and like push a lane, and that's it. Now, my team, since we since we secured that kill on Nova, I can actually afford to step away. And this is another thing you don't see players doing. They don't realize that that um, the plant can can one hit minion waves. That's immediate wave push right there. That's wave clear to the fullest. And a lot of people do not realize that, and they just walk right past the minion waves. that you see that just one swing apparently our base is in trouble right now they need to I hope they need to kind of like make a play there and defend it so I could actually take down some of these walls oh god all right yep time to peace out Now, I should have rotated down where Zeratul did, but to be brutally honest, I saw it really late. <laughs> Just being honest with you guys. I think maybe it's for the best that I didn't see it, because who knows what I went, what I might have ran into if I went that route. Zeratul can get away with doing shit like that because he's invisible. Definitely don't want to use any corruption on a minion wave or of any kind or a camp. I want to have that on deck in case the worst should happen. All right, uh, time to go defend. Oh, Tracer has action in the in the middle lane right there too. Let's do this. That'll get Chen to go back. But unfortunately, the turrets are not shooting at him, so that's a problem. That being said, we did do a, tr a tremendous amount of damage to him. Oh, God, ETC. Yeah, we're screwed. Oh. Oh, shit. Well, that might be game. 
<laughs> a big time mosh pit by ETC right there. Kind of puts us in the ground. And Tracer is about to get destroyed right there. Yep, that's a wrap. So unfortunately, we won't be able to pull out the win on this uh, Gul'dan video here. But at the same time, he did showcase a little bit of what he's about. A little bit of uh, potential there. So yeah, we didn't exactly have, uh, as far as chemistry-wise, we didn't have the greatest team, obviously. Quite a bit of arguing going on th uh, towards the, the late game, if you will. Um, I'm not sure I could have saved that with, with my uh, with what I did with the plant. I, I'm not exactly sure if, like, maybe I should have just stood back and defended. I mean, again, hindsight, 2020. So, there's that. But, again, this was more about Gul'dan, which I did die four times. I will be the first to admit I am not a hard... I, I'm, I'm Obviously, I'm only level four with him. So, clearly, I'm not a Gul'dan expert. I'm st like, I just started playing him. Uh, we did a decent amount of siege damage. That's what, that's even without the uh, the plant. We did a decent amount of siege damage. We did a decent amount of hero damage. Nothing too crazy, too off the walls. We were, however, able to um, we were able to get the full stack value out of that level one talent choice. Just to briefly review the build that I went with, I went for echoed corruption at level one, where basically you have to hit thirty enemy heroes with corruption, and after you do that, the third after the third strike. Corruption strikes three more times in the opposite direction, so instead of having three strikes, it, it buffs to six. At level four, I went for improved life tap. Life tap now restores 35% mana. So basically, like I said, I wanted to get back more mana on less uh, sacrifices, and that's the idea behind it. And my talent choice at level 13 helps to kind of offset what I'm taking away. At level seven, I went for bound by shadow. Each enemy hero hit with the fell flame reduces the cooldown of corruption by one second. So basically, this is a way to kind of um, inadvertently still spec into my corruption, using my Q ability to lower the cooldown so that I could use the corruption a lot more often. At level 10, we went for Horrify. After a short delay, you deal 120 damage and fear enemy heroes in the area for two seconds. The crowd control element to this heroic is fantastic. It is so good, and that alone makes it worth picking. At level 13, I went for Healthstone. You activate to heal for 30% of your maximum health. At level 16, I went for Ruinous Affliction. Corruption, corruption deals an additional 78 damage on impact. If the enemy is hit by all three strikes, the third strike deals 233 damage. So obviously something like that is kind of hard to pull off. But at the same time, if it does kind of happen, even if it happens by mistake, it's definitely, definitely worth trying. And it's definitely something that has major upside. Level 20, I probably would have went for the for the for the portal, if you will, either the portal or the upgrade to um, to the horrify, which ironically are the only two choices I could pick. But so what? That's what I was gonna go with. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video. I definitely think Gul'dan is a fantastic addition to the game. Like I said, I was playing Hero League last night, and I was kind of shocked that there were no picks going out for him. There were no bans going out for him. It was like nothing even changed. It was just still the conventional Kael'thas Lee Ming bans all day. So uh, we'll see how long that takes to change because I definitely think Gul'dan has major upside on all like all fronts, on all levels of play. And again, he has so many different... This was just one attempt at a build for him. He has so many good, viable builds as far as like what you want to spec into. Like all three of his basic abilities, you can spec into them and get some major value out of them. I honestly believe that. So definitely give him a try if you can. If you have 15,000 gold sitting around or, or whatever... Definitely give the hero a try. He's fantastic. He's a lot of fun. And um, he's strong as shit. So, as always, I appreciate the support. Apologize for not be, not bringing out this video yesterday. But um, time constraints and stuff like that. But I, my, my scheduling actually just freed up, unfortunately. Not necessarily for a good reason. But I don't want to get into that. But I will be around a lot more often from here on. And uh, I should be doing a better job of uh, uploading content on a regular basis. So... Keep your eye out for that. As always, I appreciate the support. This is Achilles OBT. As always, that's Achilles with the Z. Remember it.